I am just loving these moodier vibes. And look at that purple. Oh, sexy. What is popping, guys? And welcome back to another Tattoo Tips video. Today's video is going to be on tattooing over scores. So roll that intro. I've been in your world. So guys, yes, today's video is going to be about tattooing over scars, but not just tattooing over scars. I'm going to relate it to what I do best, black and grey. So to start off, guys, you can tattoo over just about every single scar. Some scars, some scars will be pretty damn bad to say the least and it's all like based on an individual basis but for the most part you can tattoo on every single scar now say for example you find out that your client has scars on the placement where they want their tattoo maybe it's on their legs or their arms and they have self-harm scars maybe it is scarring from surgery of some sort getting straight into it guys what you need to do first is to determine the type of scar now by that i don't mean ask the client how they got their scars because let's be honest <laughs> it's none of our business and we shouldn't be asking i actually think it'd be quite rude to ask a client how they got their scars insert joker reference you want to know how i got these scars but what i mean by that guys is that you need to determine whether the scar is raised whether it's flat whether it's indented whether it's thin whether it's fat now the reason you do this for example is because if you've got a raised scar then you know that anything line work here is probably going to be out of the mix due to the fact if you run a line over that scar the line's gonna be like straight and it's just gonna be like like this when it goes over the scar and it's not gonna look too straight and if you are working with line work then let's be honest if you're doing a line work piece it is your line work that is key to making that piece look good so if you're running a line over a raised area it's not gonna look that great and all it's gonna do is emphasize that scar now when it comes to covering a scar you want to cover it the best you can to not see that scar it's as simple as that or rather that scar not be so prominent so once you've determined the scar then you need to find out how old the scar is generally you can look at a scar and you can pretty much tell if a scar is fresh or if it's been done quite a while now you can generally determine how old a scar is just by looking at it. A newer scar is going to be darker in colour and it's going to be a lot more pink depending on the skin tone. And an older scar is going to be less pink, it's going to be a lot lighter and it's going to match the skin tone a lot more. Now they say between 12 and 18 months is the like healing time on a scar but to me I would personally say between 18 months and three years would be minimum minimum 18 month anything up to three years to be able to tattoo over a scar you know to me the scar just hasn't healed enough to provide more trauma to that area now i'm sure loads of artists will say different things loads of artists will really just go off a of color and if there's no pinkness and it has gone towards that skin tone then i'm sure they will tattoo it but to me i always like to be safe and I always like to give it that extra time. Whether you do that or not is entirely up to you. That is just me, guys, and that is just what I think on that situation. Now, once you've determined the type of scar, then comes the fun bit of the design. Now, like I said, you need to base your design around the type of scar that you are working with. Check this out, for example. Now, this client came to me with a indented scar. Black and grey would not have worked very well over it whatever i put through that would have gone straight through the center and if i'd have used black and gray it would have emphasized that scar quite a lot more than it already was emphasized so what i choose to do with this one was use dot work now as you can see dot work has hid the scar relatively well so i based that design around that scar and what i think would work 
Now, if I'd have used a portrait, for example, or a face of some sort, because the skull was indented, it would have concaved. Is it concave when it goes in? Yeah, I think it's concaved. Anyway, a face would have gone inwards and it might have warped the cheek or the lips or the nose, depending on the placement. But not only that, doing smooth black and grey over a scar also emphasises that scar. It just brings the scar forward. It does not cover it. Now, another example would be this guy here. Now, as you can see from this image, guys, he did have quite a bit of scarring all the way around his arm. Now, for me, for this one, because there was that much scarring, I decided to choose something that had quite a bit of texture. And luckily, the client had shown me a lion. Now, he'd shown me quite a few different things, but we settled on the lion because it's got plenty of texture in the fur, it's got plenty of texture on the nose, it's got plenty of texture all the way through the entire tattoo. And when it comes to scoring like this, texture is your best friend. Texture will hide a scar a lot better than any smoothness. Now, you do have to let your client know that although the scars are going to be covered, if you looked for it, you, pro you, you know, you probably are still going to see the scar. But not only that, in like summertime when it's hot, heat can make the scars rise and, uh, and pop up off the skin. And then in that case, it doesn't matter what you do, you're still going to see the scars through the tattoo. Texture is your best friend when it comes to tattooing certain types of scars like the one that you have just seen. So guys, you have assessed the scar, you have done your design, you are ready to go. Now when it comes to actually tattooing over a scar, if the scar is quite old, like some years old, you're pretty much good. Like you, you can just tattoo normally over that scar and you know you don't have to be afraid of like tearing the scar open or anything like that you can pretty much tattoo that scar how you would tattoo anyone else's arm without worrying however guys when it comes to healing some scars depending on the individual may not hold pigment very well and you may need to do a second pass. So guys, on the back of all that, what can you do if a client comes to you and their scar is just not ready to be tattooed? What can you as a tattoo artist suggest? It's as simple as just telling the client to come back in a few months time to reassess the scar. In the meantime, while they are aware, you can suggest some bio oil or some moisturizers is basically just helping the scar along the healing process a little bit when it comes to tattoos and when it comes to scars the body will heal the tattoo without any aftercare the body will heal a scar without any aftercare however we use aftercare and we use these oils just to help the body along just a little bit anyway guys i hope you have learned something from this video. But guys, before I go, if you are new around here, there is a tattoo tips playlist for your perusal. Don't forget also, guys, I am doing one-on-one -on -one personal seminars. The email for that is in the description. If you want the info, just drop me an email and I'll send it you all across. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video but guys i shall see you all in the next one peace